Tech Live. You make a phone call, it sounds like it always does. The amazing thing, you're talking on the net. Shots for trees. Biologists find a way to save a special California oak. A problem for would-be bioterrorists getting their hands on lab gear, but investigators discover an easy way to get it from the U.S. government. There's only so much you can train dogs to do, so if you want him to really speak... Don't be afraid. I am Canid3942. You need to learn some tech tricks. And now, here's Tech Live. Good to have you join us. I'm Michaela Pereira. And I'm Lindsay Arendt. A revolution is taking place in the telephone industry, one even bigger than going from rotary dialing to push buttons. No, we're not talking cellular here. Right now, 10% of the calls you make from home or work cross the Internet. And in a decade, it could be all of them. It's called Voice Over Internet Protocol. It's cheap, and it's a hot topic. After 30 years, Omid Pazeshki has finally cut the cord. The phone cord, that is. So basically for me, it was a no-brainer. I just made a decision based on costs. We're not talking wireless. We're talking internet telephony. Omid's entire office phone system runs through the net, and he loves it. Why? It's cheap. At home, I have Pack Bell, and I spend about seven, eight, nine cents a minute. Over here, I spend about two to three cents a minute. We're taking advantage of keeping that call on the IP network and moving it as far as we can as an internet call. And the service is smart. If I'm going to lunch to find me uh, on my cell, or if it, it can go straight to voicemail. And unregulated. No, no uh, 911 funds, no universal service funds, uh, state level taxes. And that's exactly what makes voice over internet telephony companies like 8x8 so powerful. They bypass phone companies completely and offer cool features to boot. So we can send high speed two way video over your broadband connection and of course you can't do that over a regular phone line. Here's how voice over internet protocol works. Just take this box, plug in your phone and your broadband connection and you've got cheap service anywhere in the world from the number of your choice. Issue is the states want to regulate the VOIPs. The existing telecom laws that are out there are out of date with respect to the capabilities of this technology. But no one is quite sure how to classify them or if that's the best idea right now. If you had regulated the Wright brothers after their first few flights, you might have missed some of the important social implications of flight. Interesting point there. Now, regulators in several states are trying to force VOIPs to fall under the same rules and fees as traditional phone companies, but a federal judge barred Minnesota from doing just that. That ruling could have an impact on other states like California who are trying to do the same thing. So, kids, we want to know what you think about all this. What is keeping you from making voice over IP phone calls? Is it that you already do? It's just too hard to figure out? Or voice over what? Sound off at techlive.com.